So now let's look at three dimensional vectors. So the vectors we've looked at so far are really in two dimensions. We just had an X and a Y plane. But let's say we've got the three dimensional space that we're familiar with in our everyday lives. We've got an X, a Y and also a Z plane. So we've got a vector here drawn out in this 3D space. So if you come to this point of the vector here, you can see that in order to get to that point of the vector, you have to come along a certain distance in the X direction, you have to come in a certain distance in the Y direction, and then you have to come up a distance in the Z direction. So this point here is going to have three components. It's going to have an X, a Y, and a Z component. And the same for the other side of this vector here. You're going to have to come in a distance X, you're going to have to come along a distance Y, and you're going to have to come up a distance Z in order to get to this point. So let's see how we write out this mathematically. So what we do is we take the X, the Y and the Z axis and I've redrawn them here. So this is our X, our Y and our Z axis. Now along the X axis I've associated a unit vector. So remember a unit vector is a vector of length 1. So this is a unit vector i, it's pointing along the x-axis and it's got length or magnitude 1. We do the same with the y-direction. We take a unit vector called j and in the z-direction we have a unit vector called k. So each of these vectors are length 1. So if I was to put these unit vectors in their component forms, it would be i would equal 1, 0, 0. So we go along 1 in the x direction, 0 in the y, and 0 in the z. j would be equal to 0, 1, 0. So we would go along 0 in the x, 1 in the y, and 0 in the z. And k would equal 0, 0, 1. So we would go along 0 in the x, 0 in the y, but we've got 1 in the z. So if I was to represent a vector, say, vector 2, 3, 1, so that would be 2x in the x direction, 3 in the y direction, and 1 in the z direction, then we would write this as vector 2i plus 3j plus k. And of course, because these are actually vectors, we would have to put the vector notation on top of them as well. So that's the unit vector i and the unit vector j and the unit vector k. And we'll be looking for vector v here, which would be the unit vector 2 times unit vector i, 3 times the unit vector j, and 1 times the unit vector k. So all the rules that we've seen previously with two-dimensional vectors apply to three-dimensional vectors. So we have the addition rule here. So if we have a vector here in component form 2, 1, 3, and we add on another vector 1, 2, 1, we just add the components, we get 3, 3, and 4. And subtraction, we just subtract off as normal. 4 minus 2 is a 2, 1 minus minus 3 is minus 2, and that 2 plus a 1 is 3. And multiplication by a constant, again we just multiply each of the factors out with a constant. 2 times 7 is 14, 2 and 4. So that's all there is for this video. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.